Hi, my name is Marco from Light Object. Uh, today is May 30th, Saturday, and today I'm going, going to show you guys uh, how to install a rotary on a laser machine. Um, for latest uh, controller, uh, laser controller car, they, uh, like for example, Trison uh, X7, 708, or um, Raider 655-4G, uh, now they support the fourth axles for rotary because uh, prior, prior to those models like 608, uh, 6442 uh, Raider, they don't support uh, rotary uh, naturally. Uh, but but uh, after spending, I would say roughly two years to discuss this topic with the both owners, and now they make the fourth axles to. Uh, dedicate a rotary. However, there, there are still a bunch of uh, controller cards in the market like 6442 or 608 uh, and other DZ or uh, Lee Choi. Uh, I forget, forget the name. Anyway, they don't support rotary on the, on the fourth axles. Uh, instead, you have to disconnect the Y axles uh, and then connect to a rotary. By doing so, um, it takes quite a lot of steps, and that is the reason I'm going to show you guys how to do it today. And this is, a, a, I would consider as an advanced topic, so pay more attention to what I'm doing here. Because uh, if you miss one step, it may not work, all right? Okay, I'm going to use uh, Barracuda for this demonstration. And this laser machine, I have a uh, X7, which is equivalent to AWC708. Uh, same model. Uh, it supports the rotary on the fourth axles, but it doesn't matter though because I'm going to show you guys how to use the Y axles to, 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 to run the rotary. So let's uh, take a look at this. And this is the car. And this is the system. So there's a X motor, Y motor, and we already reserved the connector for the rotary just in case people they want to use the rotary. So I could just add uh, the third, actually the fourth, because there's another one for the Z table. Yeah, we can just put a, a stepping motor here and connect to the fourth axles, and it will support the rotary. But uh, today I'm going to show you guys how to use the Y motor to drive a, mo a rotary. Okay, the parts that we need for today's dem demonstration is first of all, a rotary. As you can see, this is a wheel type rotary or a traction wheel, a rotary. And this is the one with a two-phase uh, two motor installed. So by looking at the, the connector, you see four wires. So pair A and pair B. And it doesn't matter which is the A plus, A minus, you can reverse it, it doesn't matter because uh, it just, uh, if you, you reverse A plus, A minus or B plus, B minus, the only result that we, we, you will get is reverse direction. It doesn't do any harm, all right? And another part we need, of course, uh, a motor driver. By the way, um, on our machine, I have a three-phase motor installed. That's why I'm going to get a, of two-phase motor driver for this demonstration. And I'm trying to find the same configuration format uh, as the three-phase motor driver. So you can see uh, the pulse on top and direction at the bottom. And then power cable, ground and, uh, and the positive uh, uh, in the same setup. Uh, this is easier for us to swap around. So try to find a motor driver, driver that match your, your original for the Y axles, okay? And make sure you have the same uh, micro stepping. On our machine, we use a 5000. That's why I'm going to use a 5000 setup on here. The other part is the current setting. For most small motor like this one, the rotary, the current you can set up to 3, 3.2 3 or 3.5, doesn't matter. As long as you don't feel very hot. So the, the way to test it is set up the rotary, power it up, let it on, uh, but idle. And then for maybe 20, 30 minutes, and then you touch it. If, if you can hold on for more than 8, 10 seconds, uh, you are, I would say it's pretty safe. 
But if you cannot touch it, hold it for more than two seconds, which, mean, which means the, uh, the motor is over uh, current. So you need to tune it down the current, all right? So, and then another part is a calibrator. Uh, this is a digital calibrator uh, scale or measurement tape. I'm going to use it to, to do a calibration for the UM. And I'll show you guys how to, how to do it. And then uh, tape, paper, and a light object wine bottle. Okay? Okay, before we switch the motor and put a rotary, the first thing you need to do, and this is very important, you want to export uh, the configuration for your machine before you do anything else. So we need to get the computer, hook up to the laser machine, and power it up. Okay, I'm going to open the application, uh, laser cap for the AWC 708 controller card, and go to option, system option, and read the parameter first, read it, and you can see the, the data uh, change. Also read it, all right. Now, we are going to save this configuration. So, file, export, the machine configuration. And give a name, I would say this is like what our legend or Beaver Cuda that's made of the configuration. And I'll maybe create a folder, a new folder. Machine config backup. So I'm going to save the configuration over here, CF5, this is the, the, the formats they're using. Save it. Now you are ready. All right, close it. Okay, now let's go to uh, do some change on the hardware. I'm going to, going to swap the motor driver with the two-phase, all right, the two-phase motor. I'm going to unplug, unplug the the, the Y motor, okay, so take this one out, oh, I need, I need to open the, make it easy, Unfortunately, they are using the same connector. That said, I need to get um, a two-pin connector on over here. Actually, I have over here. So I'm going to uh, unscrew this power and put it to here. All right, so give me one minute. Let, uh, let me get my screwdriver. Okay, for the future uh, convenience, I'm going to change the plug from a single one to to, to two different ones, so I, we can play around with it later. Uh, this one, this is a five pin. Uh, so this is ground, power, and for the three phrase. And I'm going to take this one out. and replace it with a two-pin terminal. And make sure you don't want to uh, reverse the polarity or you will get the motor driver burned out. So the bottom one is red, top one is uh, brown. So take it out. Oh, then let me lose more. <coughs> it's very tight. Make sure it's wide open. Take it out. Hmm. All right. 
if you take a look, take a close look, this is a red and black. So make sure you don't reverse it. All right. So bottom one is red, top one is a ground. Put it up. I'm gonna lock it up, pull it, make sure it doesn't come up. All right, so right now we got power, right? So we can take this one out, and this is two phrase motor driver. This is a three phrase. You see, U, V, W, that stand for three phrase. And this one you got A plus A minus, B plus B minus. This one is two phrase for sure, all right? And for the top part, it doesn't matter because you can see, you can match it. Post, positive. Pulse, negative, direction, negative, or uh, actually positive, and direction, negative, in match. So uh, it's a uh, you don't need to do anything over here. So I'm going to do one more part, and we are going to use, unpack this one, and put the rotary. My rotary already got the connector connected. So I'm going to pull out this one. Oh, again, I need to, to uh, emphasize, if, if your machine is already two phrase ready, not uh, three phrase, you don't need to do things what, like what I'm doing over here. I'm just trying to swap, uh, because the rotary is a two phrase, and our machine is configured for three phrase, and that's why I'm swapping the, the motor driver for the, for the rotary, all right? And this is coming from the DSP controller card, so I can just take it out, plug it in. All right, M power over here. Double check it, positive, negative, M pulse. Uh, someone, they, 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 they question about uh, ENA, what's ENA and ENA negative? Well, in general, we don't use those. Uh, this is for interrupt. That means you, if you apply a signal to the positive or negative, to ENA negative, it will shut down, it will hold the, the motor, it will in instantly stop the motor, but we don't, we don't use it. it. It's really uh, uncommon to use enable plus or minus. All right, just leave it alone. Okay, now I'm going to hook up uh, my rotary. Okay, I'm going to set up the, the rotary on, on the bed. You could be, uh, place any, any place on, on the bed, it doesn't matter, but because my wire is kind of a little bit short, so I'm picking up the bottom right corner. Uh, so I'm going to put it over here and hook it up to the drive over here. All right, and just leave it here for, for a moment, it doesn't matter though. All right, and then before, now this is something you need to pay attention, because right now, we disable the wife axles, right? So when we power up the machine, the wire is not going to move, and, but it's still trying to zip the, the home. So, uh, and also, once we power up the wire, we have to manually use the hand to move the wire to the, to over the rotary. So let's see how it goes, all right? Now let me turn on the system. This is Z-Table Auto Home. You may want to, to, to disable it too. See, you see the X is only, it's moving in X. And Roche is running, it's a simulate the Y. Because there's a no lim limit switch installed for the Roche. So what we have to do, we have to hit stop to stop it. And then we move the X and close it. Now again, because Y is disabled, right? So we have to manually move the Y to the location over here. However, this is too, the rotor is too high, right? So we have to drop the Z table down. Let me see if it's long enough.
Yeah, it should be okay. Now I'm going to get a, my bottle, light object bottle. All right, so I need to set it up, pull it over here. So then you see that there's still not enough clearance. So I can move this one up first to the top, to the, to the, to the far end. And then I still need to move the C table down. Uh, oh, my Z has a limit. So I need to change my limit you know, in order to go deeper. Uh, if you look at uh, the design of uh, our machine, we have a cabin to collect, uh, to drop off. So, but there will be some uh, sacrifice on the space. So we are losing about two inches clearance for the Z table to move down. And end up that, end up that uh, the laser head is, uh, I'm sorry, this, you will not able to, to go over the, the bottle. So what's, uh, the solution I have is to get a replacement laser tip or the barrel. Very simple, just unscrew it, take it out, and remove. This is a fast snap air hose, so it's just how do, how do we do it? When you insert it, it's really hard to pull out. But there's a clip here, just push down and pull out. It will come up very easy. Um, I'm not going to use air, air assist for now, just for demonstration. So uh, I'm just go ahead to, to, to swap it. You can see the difference. There's not much different on the design on the two. Uh, oh, but actually this, this one's smaller. Let me see if I can make it work. No, it doesn't fit. So I need to, to get a, a cover, a something to, to make it fit. Okay, let me make a measurement of the original laser barrel calibration. It's about 25 mm in diameter, but the one I have in stock is a 21, so it's not going to fit. But lucky we do have a spare of this uh, laser head with the barrel. So, but I need to modify a little bit. Well, I just cut it with uh, a saw. Not a nice job, but it will work though. So I got a lens, take it out. By the way, this is how we take out the lens. I mean, you don't want to you follow me now because it's supposed to have a, you're supposed to use a tool to uh, take the lens out. But since the lens is a used one for the demo, so it really don't, doesn't ma matter. All right, let me take it out. And you don't want to touch the lens with uh, with your hands or fingers. So I have to use, uh, excuse me, so I'm going to put it on my shirt. All right. And I can touch by the side. Now pay attention to the lens. This is a concave and the other side is converse. A lot of people got confused. Concave means that this way, this shape, concave. Concave facing down, all right? So the laser head is going this way, all right? So concave. Okay, now let me put this one back to here. I put the concave on my shirt and cover it this way. Flip. And shake it, make sure this is in even distance, sometimes it may be blocked or uh, halfway in, and if you force the laser tip in, it will crack it. So, and you feel a little bit loose, it doesn't matter. Uh, there's no such thing perfect fit, all right? So I'm going to put this laser tip back to it. Uh, oh, so maybe I got it wrong. Maybe this one. Oh, I forgot something. I'm sorry. 
uh, we have to put a the ring back to it. to secure it and you want to put some effort but not too hard though because too hard you can crack the lens so firm but not too hard and now we can put the laser tip back to it mm. did I do something wrong yeah okay just use it for now. <laughs> All right, let's go. Mm. All right, we got enough space here. It's supposed to supposed to be roughly five mm, so I'm going to put it down a little down and try to be center. Okay. And it's done. And I'm not going to use air hose for now because we are going to, we are not go, not going to fire up a lot, but use a low power, so it really doesn't matter. All right. So next step, I need to take the bottle out and cover with a piece of paper. <sighs> There's a reason I will show it to you why. So I got some tape. So I'm going to wrap it up. And uh, uh. We still want to put one more piece here. We don't want it to see the paper skipping. So I'm going to put one little tape here. One little tape here. Cool. All right, now let's put it back. And you see, and hit the origin. Now, if you move the Z, I mean, I'm sorry, the Y, you can see the roaches running. Uh, it went so fast because remember, we are the controller car still have the original uh, setting, and which is really fast on the keypad movement. So we need to slowing down on the Y. So let's go to. Uh, System options, manufacturer setting, click read, get the update information. Uh, or oh, we have to go to, I'm sorry, go to the user, read. And then we have the XY, let me see, XY home speed 100, key move speed. Let's put it down to 50. Right, all right. Or well, actually, we can just go to uh, the XY movement. We can lock up the maximum switch to speed over here without affecting the X. So we can write. But you see the error? Some controller card, they want you to read first before you can edit it. So I'm going to put a 50 speed over here. Starting speed from 10 for row 3. And the range could be, I think, roughly 200. You can change the range, no, no, no biggie. All right, and then write and go back to uh, user parameter. Put it back to... 200, right. Okay. Mm. 
now. How come there is this setting? Let me see. Workspace. Um, I got it wrong. So, so this one's 9, 900. Maximum speed 50. Right. Oh, shoot. Read. 900. Okay. Starting speed 50. Right. Okay. So after we set it, then let's uh, try it. Uh, now it's a slower, so we can do something, right? Okay. Uh, this procedure is trying to get the UM, the magic number for the rotary, because we want to engrave or cut something in, in, in a, a proper ratio. Like for example, if you want to cut a square one inch by one inch. If you don't do this part, you, you may get one inch on X, but you will get this totally different uh, uh, the dimension on the Y, I mean on the, on the row tree. So this, this is how we are going to do. We are going to draw a square. I'm going to put uh, 50 and 40 on the Y. The reason I don't want to put 50, 50, sometimes you get confused, right? And you don't know which one's X, you don't know which one's Y. So let me just drop uh, a little bit on the Y. So now this is a 50 on the X and 40 on the Y. Y means the rotary. And then we set up the speed you don't want to turn too fast on the road tree and you don't want to get full power so i'm going to try at seven percent power minimum minimum like six point well whatever seven point five just a little bit slower than less than the maximum power and forget about the pressure pressure is for for hyper system the metal and then the speed we can go by 50. Or, well, let me do maybe 30 because I'm not trying to see the skipping. Air, select, and click OK, and download. All right. So I'm going to turn on the water chiller. And before I do that, before fire up for cutting, let me uh, run a simple power test. So this one manual is showing 8%. Let me see laser. There's no laser coming out. It's watering. So let me in increase the power a little bit. There's no... Okay, I'm going to do a test fire. Um, I move it out from the area to try to cut first. I'm in the place and then I'm setting up to low power, 6% minimum and 7% maximum and fire the laser. You can see the needle is uh, reflecting and you can see the, that there's a laser shot over here. Now, for example, if I move uh, the Y a little bit and fire the laser, look at the, you know this is working, right? Okay, now we are going to move to a delegate and a specific area and hit the origin and we hit the box or the frame to see how it go and as you can tell um, the x seems moving in a pretty close distance but the y is turning quite a large distance that means 
um, the, the, the UM is totally off, okay? And by looking at this setting up, I mean, looking at the movement, I can tell the UM is way, way far distant than we, uh, we need it. So let's go look at the manufacturer parameter and click read because it's going so long on the, on the Y. So it's not going to be six. And let me try on four and write it. Okay. Now let's try again and run the box. Wow, seems even more. Maybe I was using the wrong direction, the other way around. So let me try another. Read. So this time I'm going to use maybe 12. Oh, I mean, put on 12. Right. Let's see if it works better on this part. Ah, now you see that the moving distance is much less, right? Uh, let me do one more, then we can do some tests. So instead of 12, I'm going to get uh, 16. Put down 16. Okay. So on 16, it's very close. But don't get me wrong though, we don't, uh, you don't have to do like what I did. We can just run the cuts on that uh, four, uh, 50 mm by 40 mm and then get the result and measure the distance and then we can punch in the data. The reason I did that because I want to get closer enough. All right. Okay. Now let's go move to uh, a, any spot you want. Hit origin and click start. Okay, now we can take it out. We get X and we get Y. All right, let's take it out. This is good enough. So let's move out over here. We untape it. All right, now let's make a measurement. This is an X. So we just need to put down, this is for X, this is the Y. And then we make the egg. As yeah, so you may tell, it's pretty close, right? From that part, that point to this point, point. Let me see. Over here, so fifty point seven. All right, um, I'm going to leave it alone because this is this is really close, and it, because of we do it on paper, so more or less there's some uh, uh, wave or wobbling somewhere and affect the, the accuracy. So I'm just leaving it alone, no problem. But now the Y is, is very important. So let's go back, hit the zero, and let's do the, do the Y. Okay, All right, this is 78.85. All right. Now remember the X, the X we set it to 50, right? And Y we set it to 40. This is uh, the actual setting. So let's go back to the computer and let's see how to do it. So we open Again, the options, and go to system options, go to manufacturing parameters, and remember to hit read for this controller card. Some of, some of other controller card like a Raider or Puhan, like a T9, um, it reflects the data instantly, so you don't need to do the read. Okay, for the X, we leave it alone, but for the Y, we click the button next to it. This is a UM calculator. We click it. We expect, uh, oh, by the way, let me double check to make sure I did it, did it right. So when I look at the, the box, I got X on 50, 
Y on 40. Okay, that 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 match. Uh, then we go back again. Go to uh, manufacturing, read, click the button, and put down 40. Over here, expected 40, correct? We got expected value 40. And then the actual was 70.85. Click OK and write and OK. Now it's done. So let's try again. We need to uh, use the same paper. Now we set up a new uh, paper, I mean it's the same paper, but we uh, reverse it. So I'm going to try the four, uh, 50 and 40 again. On the, on, now let's see how it goes. Uh, hit the origin, start from here and click start. All right, it looks pretty good, isn't it? It's very close, 50 and 40, but uh, of course we want to verify. Uh, with the calibrator. So again, we take the paper out. Now let's see, this is uh, the X. We haven't done anything for sure. This is, uh, um, so this is Y. So look at those. 40.11, isn't it? This is the Y. And this is the X, supposed to be 50. Yeah, 49.9 or whatever, depend how I you know, move my, my calibrator. So, we are, we are done on the calibration. Now, let's see, let's make a wheel engraving or cutting on the road tree, so I'm... Okay, I'm going to try these uh, shoes. And let me see how big it is. And, uh, this is 62 inch uh, uh, mm by 41, but I want to make it smaller for our testing. So I'm going to put down to 40. And then take the rest. 0.25. And then I'm going to select power eight percent for engraving, a uh, speed five fifty, scan cap zero point zero two five. Let's see how how good it is. And again, um, the power may not be right, but we just want to see the ratio, and it works. All right, click. I know it. Let's see. Origin. Stop. Uh, let me see. Seems the power is too less. Let me increase the power a little bit. So I'm going to set up it up to. Remember, we are doing papers. Pretty tough. Let me just go. Nine point five. See if it works or not. Ah, let's do it again. Still, uh, too low. Let me see. Ah. And then let me go to maybe eleven percent. Try again. Hmm. Still low. Okay, I'm going to try 15% and download. And move it out a little. Careful, be careful. 
It seems to working out, but the power is still low. But it doesn't matter, though, because this is because uh, uh, this demonstration is just to show you guys how to set up a rotary. All right. And so you can see it come up and the size was pretty close to the to setting and it works. This is how it's supposed to do on Y axis using Y axis for rotary. All right. So before we switch back to the Y uh, axis for the regular job, we need to save this profile to another name. So let's go back to the computer. And then we click File, export the machine configuration again, and go back to machine backup configuration. This is a legend of original, so right. So we put a different name, Rotary configuration, and save. All right. Now we need to bring back the system to the original. Correct. So we are going to load, click import. I'm um, sorry, the configuration uh, file, import machine configuration. So we need to click the legend configuration. Click this one, open it. Now the system is already recovered from the original setting. But before doing so, we need to take the rotary out and we put the system. Otherwise, the the previous the, the current setting will not be override. So uh, there we go. So we need to turn off the machine first, and unplug the rotary power connector, and put it back over here. And the power. Back to it over here, and then the three. Oh, this one I need to find a three pin connector or move, move the power back to here. But I don't have a three three pins uh, finish terminal, so I have no choice but take this two wires back to here. Okay, now I disable and remove the rotary and put the system back to the original configuration. And after that, we have to hit uh, reset to get the system back to taking the original parameters. But there's one thing we need to do after we switch back because I slowing down the rotary key speed, right? So when you look at those, now the, the Y will be very slow because uh, there was a setting for the rotary and we need to go back to the computer and change the system so we can actually terminate right here stop it and go to system and go to a param manufacturer parameter click read uh, the maximum speed we lock it down to uh, 50 before so we need to put it back to 300 and right and okay now if we can we can I can show it to you so and you can move this one up and back to here so you should pick up the faster speed
Oh, sorry. Uh, there's one, one more setting. I'm sorry. Let me see. Uh, system option. Re this is uh, for manufacturer setting for the machine. This is the maximum. However, we need to look at the user. User setting. Even though we have a uh, hundred, two hundred, one thousand uh, mm per second on the manufacturer set setting, but on the user, this is uh, what actual speed you want to gain. Um, so it automatically drop down to fifty. We want to go set it back to maybe eighty on homing, and one box back to uh, because it when I set the maximum speed fifty, they would all the related speed will be dropped down to 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 the same. Uh, speed, so I need to put it back. So two two hundred clip boss one fifty and space speed. This is I think it's called software backup. Uh, I think I didn't back up this part. We should load back up the the software setting too. Space speed start. Maximum S raise minimum. All right. Right. Now we should go back faster. Uh, let me see. And hit reset. Let's see. Yeah, it's so faster. Hmm? No, uh, the homing. The homing still slow. Interesting. Why? 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 Let me take a look. Uh, read. Ah, uh, look at that. Because it's still running using the old uh, configuration file, so I need to do it again. Import machine configuration legend open and then option. I'm sorry, actually, it was wrong. I should do the import right here. Import legend open right. Uh, this is something I don't like. This uh, uh, controller card. Every time it, it will ask you to to read first. Import legend and write. Okay. Click OK. Now it's back. Let me see. Reset. Kind of. We're on oh. interesting. Oh, wow, well, do the, the other way. Still okay. uh, Alright, so after we load the original uh, setup the parameter, we need to uh, better we better to reset the system. So just hit reset to check everything's back to the normal. So now the Y is moving, X is moving in our uh, proper speed. And we test the key control, left, right, down, up, Z down, Z up. All right, everything looks normal. Okay, so let me do a quick check on this part. Now click the, and I'm going to uh, engrave the same shoes again.
as you can see the power seems much more on on, on the original laser tip so that means the laser tip that I used for demo previously the alignment is not right so I can stop it right here <laughs> now you can see that you cut and grave through but the size wise it pretty much is the same uh, where's the, our original we don't have the pa paper oh, over here So the size is maybe a little bit different, but this is a uh, suppose. I mean, uh, the, the the UM is really hard to make it perfect, like on X and Y. So there's uh, more or less a little bit uh, offset. Just to let you guys know about it. But after other than, other than that, then we are pretty much done. Um, the easy way to do the road tree, I would say, if possible. Upgrade your DSP controller card to our T9 or the Radiator 6445G because I already talked to the programmer and he's going to add the same feature, rotary support on the fourth axles, just like a T9. So it makes it much easier to, to use a rotary other than using the Y, swap, swapping the Y and rotary back and forth. And even though uh, you can do it, but there's a lot of uh, uh, learning curve and also there's a lot of uh, uh, issue I'm telling you and, and and it's easy to make mistake too um, that's why I have it after I switch back to from the rotary to the normal XY engraving uh, some of the card like this this card I believe there's some glitch on it so that's why the XY move, move, movement is reversed and also the, the ratio has changed a little bit so you need to know how to uh, put it back all right, uh, that's it for today, and thank you for watching. Thank you.